is it so bright? There we go. So remember how I told you that we were going to New York? It was for like a gaming event and I was gonna try to like sketch scenery and try to get in the practical habit of drawing outside. Well, <laughs> uh, we had to cancel the trip because both of our cats sequentially got sick, weren't able to hold down any food. It was kind of scary for a little bit. They're both okay now. This weekend, we're going up north to visit my grandparents and also Josh is going to a comic convention. So I figure I would still like to try to do that. Uh, so I'm bringing a sketchbook onto the plane with me. I'm not gonna necessarily prioritize it because I wanna prioritize spending time with my grandparents. Um, but I just want to go into this weekend with open expectations. Always have like a drawing tool near me. See what happens when like my natural reflex combines with accessibility of tools. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I'd also love to draw my grandparents. But anyway, this is going to be like part vlog, part travel, part family, part drawing. So if you'd like a little more of a casual video, then keep watching. <laughs> I got delayed by an hour, minutes. 90 minutes, but guess we still had to arrive on time for our original uh, check-in time. We did! <laughs> From one to ten, how would you rate our travel day? Probably like a <laughs> seven five. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, aside from the delay. But we got here, so yeah. um, <laughs> ten minutes to Laker game and while we're in the bay. Uh oh. We haven't even bref eaten breakfast or lunch. Just had I've had late no Pringles <laughs> and sour belts, and you've had <laughs> some gummy, gummy worms and uh, jerky. Down. Looking forward to dinner. I can't bring my sketchbook to the sports bar. Oh, I don't know if I'll we'll go to the sports bar. Oh, you we're just, just going somewhere where it's on. Oh, you just hook up the Apple TV. Okay, we brought our Apple TV for once. Although we did forget all of our chargers for everything. One day. One day. We're One not day very we'll smart travelers. <laughs> Again, they switched. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got sushi. I think he's better there. We're watching the game. Well, one of us is watching the game. We made it. Now it's time after a flight delay. No food. Time for sushi. Ooh! This is like unga bunga roll that you got. It's really good. <laughs> Crepe? Cake? I don't know. It looked really good on the menu. Lakers and six. No. <clears throat> what? Mm. Lakers and six. <laughs> you want to try this? I want to try you saying Lakers and six. <laughs> you never could have told me you two Lakers and six. I'm not even a Warriors fan. I'm definitely not a Lakers fan. <laughs> Pretty good. Just like Lakers and six. Not too sweet. No. Don't fall over. No. Camera. Oh. You know, you're not gonna fall over. Oh, oh no! Good morning. Joshua is at the convention already. It's about 10, 12. Um, my grandpa's coming to pick me up at 11. I told him 11 because I don't, I'm not typically up and at him until like 10 30. Um, but we ended up falling asleep so early yesterday. So I was like up and ready to go at, at eight. So I watched some Black Mirror. I think I should take the time to draw. Maybe I'll draw some of the architecture out here. Here, I'll show you. This is the lagoon. I think I wouldn't try to draw this building. <laughs> this thing out so slow. <laughs> I also did some digital art, but my iPad's dead, so I can't show you. Oh, Star Rail players, you'll recognize this. <laughs> I thought Trailblazer should get a cute wanted poster too. <laughs> working on is trying to not just draw a line because there's like a angle so like on the building I'm looking at kind of in my head it makes sense to draw a line where the corner of the building is but visually there's not actually like a like a dark line there so where if I was drawing on digital I would draw a line there for like it's like something I could erase later but for this I would rather instead try to show the angle on the building with the what is actually visually distinct which is the difference between the white walls and the dark blue windows right it has been very humbling <laughs> opportunities that this has given me to practice perspective <laughs> I messed up. I messed up. I did what I said I wasn't gonna do. Just draw the lines. What I might do at my grandparents' house is instead of drawing while I'm there, I think I'll just take pictures. You'll see. Their house is incredible. Like, I, I'll, I'll take some footage of it. It might be my own nostalgia that's making it feel <laughs> more magical than it is, but you'll see. It's a very, very beautiful house. We'll draw for 10 more minutes, and then I'm off. I'm off to see my grandparents. <laughs> Stupid. It's been fun learning how to use negative space to my advantage. With pen and sketching it, I've, I've finally am starting to realize how necessary it is. <laughs> You can say just as much with negative space as you can stay, say, with a line. Here's how far I got. <laughs> it's like a little warped down, like everything is turned 
maybe a little too far down. <laughs> but I like it. It's got character. <laughs> I still don't know how to open these. Hi, Grandma! Wow. <laughs> Thank you for picking me up. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's okay. I didn't know you guys got the wet one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't it ethereal? Yeah, it is. It really is. What kind of roses are these? Good question. Not a way. But this doesn't look bad. No, it looks beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I love it. The view from there is incredible. Yeah, it's so striking. Uh -huh. We've got the birds. Does this bird actually stop other birds from yes. showing up? No, it, it draws them. It draws, it draws them? them. <laughs> yeah, so, so my bird was here trying to make love to this bird. Oh no! Are you Probably really disrespectful, but <laughs> I was a kid. This is my dad's old room. There's a record player in here somewhere. There's pictures of us in here now. <laughs> I always loved how the light, the light hit in here. Oh, <laughs> I like this place. Everybody who visits us would bring it here. And this was not here. And I miss it. But it's just... couple days. I just wanted to do a little outro since I didn't do voiceover for this video. My grandparents are celebrating their- Hi! <laughs> Ooh, it's their 60th anniversary! It's a big number and I'm gonna see them in a couple months. Uh, so, I showed it at the very end of Sunday, uh, but my grandma collects birds and has been collecting bird figures and like art for a long time, so I decided as part of their gift I'll probably draw or paint her um, a bird that she can add. So I started working on one. Uh, I'm not sure, I might end up doing a different medium. This guy. <laughs> At least I have the outline line work done. I might end up just doing really detailed uh, line work and make it black and white. Uh, I'm just experimenting with a couple things. Yeah, I think overall this weekend went really well. I drew more than I expected. I really was like, I'm gonna bring my sketchbook, but I really doubt that I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna do it. Having my tools like really close made it easier to grab that instead of like my phone or something. As long as I was trying to consciously make the decision to, to draw. I felt kind of stiff at the beginning, um, but closer to the end, I felt like I was doing better at interpreting what I was seeing and figuring out not how to like exactly replicate what I'm looking at, but to capture the essence of it with the limited tools that I have. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on the bird. And good luck on whatever you guys are working on. Oh, I forgot to mention I also did a little bit of sketching in the last couple days since I've been home. I drew my mom. This is probably the best I've ever done at capturing someone's likeness. Some 
skull anatomy practice here. Nothing crazy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! <laughs>